Hello again and welcome back to Life is Strange. We're getting ready to investigate all of these clues that we've put together. Uh, from all of these clues over here, we were able to decipher um, Frank's codes. We were able to figure out which vehicle is Nathan's and we were able to get into his phone. Max, and we've... I know we can snap uh -huh. all these pieces together. Yeah, I'm trying together. to talk here. Uh, Roger that. Uh -huh. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. Yeah, and now we're going to look at these clues and, um, well, connect the dots, as she said. So let's investigate. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So this is going to tell us where Nathan could, took Kate after the party. So we're going to look at all of these things. So let's start looking. Uh, let's see. So these are... Uh, texts from Nathan to Frank. Uh, so this was on the 7th. So these are all the texts printed out here. Um, yeah. Oh man, how the heck am I supposed to piece all this together? So we have these pieces of paper here. Uh, so this is, this is the stuff he bought and when he bought it. And then... We have some pictures here. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? So that's when Frank met... Well, that's the picture of the junkyard. I'm not really sure how we... Okay, these are from the coordinates from... Um, uh, <laughs> I can't remember his name. Whatever, the, whatever Chloe's stepdad's name is. I'm totally blanking on it now. These are from his coordinates where... Uh, when he was following Nathan. So let's look at these pictures. This is a good that place to start. That beach is like Frank's main office. So there's the beach. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Uh huh. Um, actually, what I probably should be doing is looking at these. What night was the um, party? I don't remember. I, I need to know what night the party was. Because, because I remember when we looked at one of these, um, one of these phone messages, Max said something about, aha, he did score something on the night of the party. But unfortunately, I'm not remembering the night of the party, which sucks. Um, eh, boy. Hmm. Boy, I, uh, I do not remember the night of the party. Um, maybe Chloe will tell us. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. Hey, Max, oh, see if you can put together all those thing. Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Yeah, I need some info. That's why I was trying to holla. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Oh boy, um, gosh, I don't even know where to go to look. Um, so the night of the party would be maybe. Oh gosh, I am I'm kind of lost here. Um, I mean, it could be, it could be on a flyer here. But I don't remember which... Th that's all? the. That's it? Those are all the things from the school? No, we looked at a lot more stuff than that. Um... Huh. What was the night of the part? That's the only thing that we have from the dorms? This doesn't make any sense. Huh. Yeah, this isn't helping at all. This is stuff we found in people's rooms. There we go. Oh, great. It doesn't tell me the date. Give me a freaking break, man. <laughs> so we know that the party was in October, but we don't know the date. Great. That's, um, that's fantastic. So yeah, there's, um... Uh, I don't know the date of the party. Was there a flyer here? 
I don't even remember what the name of the party was, what the party was called. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know, man. How? Huh? Um. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. I'm not real sure how to find this information. Boy, we're going way back in time here. Way back in time. Yeah, this is this is way too far back now. But um <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. Look at the date on this. One day ago. Gee, thanks, game. Thanks a lot. Am I really just supposed to remember this? Because I don't freaking remember when the party was. I don't. I do not remember. Uh, maybe it'll be in here? It just says coming soon. Where's the end of the world party? But this is the party that's coming up, right? This is the one that hasn't happened yet. So... Yeah, where is the flyer for... <laughs> that's funny. The flyer for the party that Kate went to. Gosh, I don't know, man. There's all the other information stuff. Um, oh, and that's the end of that. Okay. How the hell... I don't freaking remember, man. I don't know when the party was. I have no idea. These papers are just when he bought the drugs. That's all. This was on the 4th. On the 7th. The 4th. The 7th. The 7th. And September 30th. This is from the 7th. Um, I'm going to guess this was the day of the party. The 7th, maybe? I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to pick this. Oh, I'm supposed to pick three things. Really? Because there's three papers that have the 7th on them. That's not one of them. So I'm going to pick the 3.10 a.m. Um, 3.50 p.m. And 10.50 p.m. I'm going to guess this one. I really don't know. And then we're going to look for the 7th. Uh, oh, this is 7th of 10th. That's when he went to Frank's to collect the drugs, right? So is there a later time on the... Oh, you're treading oh, water, Otter. Is Try there again. a later time on the 7th? Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Hmm, so we went far, no maybe? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there, too. This one has uh, 10-7 at 11.23 p.m. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Oh, I, didn't I do that? Oh, there's a flyer here I could look at? Oh. So, this infamous party was the fourth. <laughs> it was right there in front of me this whole freaking time, man. <laughs> okay, so the party was on the fourth. <laughs> Party was on the fourth. It wasn't on the seventh. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Game was making it easy for me all along, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, so there's the fourth. Are there any other messages of the fourth? Of course there are. Okay, so we've got all these messages from the fourth. These were. So he's got to party tonight. So the last message there was at 5:27 p.m. Whereas these were much later. I'm going to say this is the one we want. So we're going to go with that one. And then we're going to look for the fourth. And I'm going to guess it's going to be the latest one on the fourth. 11 p.m. It's probably going to be that one. It doesn't get much later than that.
Okay, we're gonna go with this one. And then we're gonna look for the fourth. Third. Second and seventh. First and fifth. Well, he was there on the fourth, but that's not where he ended up. These have a couple of fourths, but they're not late enough, I don't feel like. Not much out Whoa. there. Whoa. Okay, that one looks fishy, wouldn't you agree? A barn on the fourth at 11 p.m.? Let's just look at the other ones. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. So that's not it, that's where he lives. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Okay, so it has to be this one. This is like goddamn math. What? Oh, sorry, I picked the wrong I one. I suck. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. Haunted? I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Yeah, Chloe, be careful. Because her power isn't infinite. So you think, like, Rachel's, like, tied up in here or something? Or in a cage? I mean, this is where he brought Kate, right? Doesn't Holy necessarily shit, mean it's where he brought Rachel. Know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Hmm, how are we going to get in the barn? Let's see if Chloe has any suggestions. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Tracks. Let's look at the tracks. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? And we get another text message from Warren. So let's go to that. Warren, what do you want, man? I'm busy. Uh, let's see here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we are right here. He said, Warren says, I didn't realize that beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course, I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yeah, it so was. How are you doing? Amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again, unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool, now I have to go back to striking super poses. So coming in here has reminded me that uh, there's some journal stuff that uh, we need to read. And, um, let's see. We were on this page, I believe. This is probably the last page that we read. So let's start here. We have a little bit of uh, reading to catch up on. After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I needed... Oh, <laughs> Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. 
She injured him in the leg, which totally freaked me out, even though I feel like I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week. All I could think was, this is really happening. I'm outside an RV in a fight with a drug dealer. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible. Now he's even more pissed off at Chloe and me. Part of me thinks he, was, he has the right since we wounded him in the leg, but the other part thinks that Frank would be hurt at some point by somebody else. He should be lucky it was by us dorks. All right. I hope his leg is okay and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go. And I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more over what happened. She did defend me. Sigh. But we do have bigger Franks to fry. Or fuck up. Onward. My life, my life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space. But is it aging me before my own time and space? Am I learning things I shouldn't? Messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's become almost part of my nature, or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek, where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. Uh, is that City on the Edge of Forever? Is that what that one's called? Um... Joan Collins is in that episode. It's a real good episode. If you haven't seen it, check it out. What kind of fucked up choice is that? What would have happened if I had not been able, if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus I was supposed to be there. Destiny. So things got a bit out of hand with Frank, but honestly, what else could we expect? He's not really your everyday hero type, and it was probably stupid of us to hope for a change, but hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him we're on the same side, but it was a waste of time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hurt him in the leg, but despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. He was on the verge of unleashing hell on us, but I think we've avoided the worst. I just hope our paths won't cross again anytime soon, or ever for that matter. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental, but I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried, right? And now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber, finally. This is the moment where all the clues come together and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel Amber and beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me since I do not feel we're at the end of the road, hopefully not the end of the world. But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than, than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Now let's look around here. Let's look at this car. I'm sure this will help us get into the barn. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Hey, Squirrely Squirrel. Uh, let's take a look and see if we could uh, determine what kind of pictures we're supposed to be taking. Uh, here is a uh, like a windmill thingy. And that may very well exist on top of the barn. But it doesn't. But you'd think that there would be a windmill out here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Let's see if we can take a picture of this thing. Okay, game. Let me interact interact with it. Hey, bird. Photo. Yeah, I lucked into that one. Okay, cool. Well, so far we're 100% in this episode. There you go. That's a pretty cool picture. I like that one. That one's kind of nice. Now we need to keep an eye out. I'm not sure which way, which one of these is next, if it's this one or this one. A bird in a nest or a skeleton in a skateboard. We may find a bird in its nest out here. Here's a metal sheet. Move it. Oh, okay. That was easy. Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Oh man. 
I wasn't done looking around outside. Oh, yes! Maximus rules. Oh, man. There might be more stuff outside I want to look at. this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. <laughs> Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yeah, you scope out the area. See if we could... Well, we're not going to be able to open the front door because it's locked. Will the game let yes, me go back outside? Yes, Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Let's see what happens. Okay, it did let me go outside. Cool. Yeah, I just want to see if there's anything else for me to look at out here since I didn't really look around all that much before just rushing in. Our Max is walking awfully fast. Oh, look at those birds over there on the, over the horizon. Let's see how far we could walk this way. Nope, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Can't go that way. Not surprising. Here's a sign. Watch us. <laughs> okay, that was worth coming back out here for. Yeah. I guess that's all we get. Nothing else. And clean up your truck, Chloe. Good grief. There's a house over there. Whoops, sorry. Oh, old house down there, kind of neat. Alright, let's go back in here and look around some more. Oh, we've got some photos here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Um, that's not a selfie. Right? I mean, he didn't take the picture. Did he? I mean, I guess he could have set a timer on his uh, camera. Here's a tractor. Let's look at it. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay. Here's the tracks again. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. Must be. Great. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Ooh, let's read this one. Uh, July 22nd, 1903, Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, MLP. Wonderful. Oh, here's another photo just lying here. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Okay, that's a picture of the barn. Rusty button. All right, let's we'll come back to that. Whoa. Oh, huh, that's weird. My uh, controller just vibrated. Oh, that's why. <sighs> Nothing here. Hmm. Pitchfork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Okay. Another ground place to search. Just rotting wood. Here's a hook. Look at the hook. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. 
has to be more here than this crate. Oh, the controller vibrated again. All right, this is getting creepy. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Whoa. Okay, this is getting messed up, yo. Haystack. So many haystacks, so few needles. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll come back to that padlock. I just want to see if it says anything. If there's anything else to look at, you know how I roll. Oh, can't interact with Chloe. Old, old. There's a crate that we can search. Ah, the good old days. Pollard's Markets. All right, let's look at this padlock here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Hmm. Well, back okay, to the... Okay, Chloe. Oh. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Here's a platform. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Okay, so there's a place we could climb, and then remember there was a rusty button over here. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Hmm, okay, that rusty-ass button isn't gonna do anything. Climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> Okay, now we're up here. What are we going to do when we're up here? Um... Ah, here's something we can pull. Try not to pull it on your head, okay? Hmm, okay, we pulled that. Here's an old motor. Let's look at it. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Please okay. be careful up there, Max. Climb. Okay, now we're way up here. What's this gonna do for us? Let's look at this. Here's the other end of the rope. Okay, there's the other end of the rope. Found that. All right. And... Ooh, photo. Yay! There we go. All right, now we need to look for some bars and a moon or something, and then a skeleton on a skateboard. That's all we need to look for. Owl. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Doctor Who. Hmm. So we found the other end of the rope. I can look at it, but I can't interact with it. Attach. Tell me if you need any help. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Okay. Now what? Pull the rope. Here's the other end of the rope. I thought you might say something different since it's attached. Pull it. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Hmm. Something heavy. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back oh, up Oh jeez, why don't you just tell me how to do it, game? Okay, fine. Thanks. Come on. <laughs> why does rewind so slow? Let's go. Yes, I'm holding down right trigger. Oh, that ain't it. Come on. There you go. 
Oh, 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 huh? Alright, a little bit further. There we go. Okay, here we are. Old motor. Talk about heavy metal. I could use that to open the hatch. Okay, so. Attach the rope. It attaches the rope to the motor. Then... We pull it, although I think you'd push it. I don't know why it's it. Okay, we're pulling it. We're pulling, we're pulling. Do not fall. <laughs> uh, so that didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. We better rewind. Rewind. We're going to need to remove that rope from that hook down there. Hey, um, look. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. Oh, oh, she put it back. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? <laughs> oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Okay, that's pretty cool that the game remembered that. <laughs> I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. You better step away from that hatch. All right, here we go. Pull it. Push it. Max Giver strikes again. Oh, that's a good one, Max Giver. Uh, that's a good one. Props to you, Max. Nothing from Chloe. No. Yes, or good job, or anything. She says nothing. Padlock. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, okay, well, here's the hatch. Where's Chloe? Well, we did tell her to stand clear. Chloe, hey, I opened the, the hatch. Let's go about the perimeter, Max. Oop, okay. There has to be more here than this crate. Well, I guess we're going by herself or something. I don't know. It's like she totally lost interest in what's going on over here. Whoa, that's cool and what creepy. Is this jackpot? Man, that was a big hatch. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Hmm. So. If you were there with a friend, well, I guess I should say, if I was there with a friend, there's no way that I would be like, hey, let's go down there together. Reason being, I would be so afraid that I'd go down there and somebody would come and slam the damn hatch on me and lock me in. So I would be like, I tell you what, uh, you go down and look around and I will um, keep a lookout up here. And that way, if anybody comes, you could yell at your friend, hoping that nothing terrible happens to them while they're down there. But... Uh, I'm a little claustrophobic. I have a little bit of fear of being buried alive, that kind of thing. So my fear of walking down there and getting locked in is greater than my fear of, you know, something scary being down there. You know what I'm saying? I I'm more afraid of being locked in than I am of my friend getting into trouble or getting hurt uh, while they're down there. I hope that makes sense. But this is a video game and you kind of have to do what the game says. So let's go. Whoa, this is... Whoa. Okay, this is super creepy. This bunker is so surreal. It's pretty neat. Keypad and security door. Let's look at the security door. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Okay, we're gonna need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. A digicode? Well, we have no idea what the code is, but you can see that 2, 4, and 5 are uh, more worn out than the rest of them. So you're going to have to think that the uh, code contains those three numbers. I don't know how many attempts we're going to get before something terrible happens. Um, but I do wonder if there's going to be some kind of clue upstairs. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and try 2, 4, 5. Wrong code. Okay, wrong code. 
And uh, Chloe is going to be of no use whatsoever. So, do we need Come to go... On, Max. Break yeah. that digicode. Do we need to go back upstairs and walk, dude? We need to go back upstairs. Walk! And, um... Why does she keep stopping? And see if we could find a clue. Uh, I'm going to look at the photo. See if there's any numbers on the photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Well, I don't see any obvious numbers on that barn, like if it was a house number or something. So that's not going to help me any. Uh, we already looked at the tracks. We searched the crate. The crate didn't have any... I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. 245 on it. It has July 24th, but um, not not any anything with a combination of those three numbers. The tractor... Um, I mean, uh, we could look to see if there's any numbers on it. This tractor has paid its dues. But I don't see any. So frankly, I think it's kind of silly that the number would be up here somewhere, but this is how games work, you know. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Hmm. Well, there's not really a whole lot else for us to look at up here, is there? Two, four, five. And then when we were outside, I don't remember there being any... Of course, I wasn't looking for numbers at the time, but... We'll just take a look around and see if we see those numbers anywhere. Look at the house over here. There's no numbers on that sign. Uh, I don't see any numbers on the house. This car... There's no license plate on it. And then, um... The barn itself, I don't see any numbers, so... I guess maybe I'm just simply supposed to keep trying those three numbers. And, um... Hope that we come up with the code before we get locked out. Because, uh... We've been locked out of things before in this game. So let's go in here. And then back down into the creepy bunker. The creepy slash awesome bunker. It's pretty awesome, really. So long as nothing nefarious is going on down here, but uh come on, let's face it, you know something is. So Now that's a serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? I mean, there are quite a few combinations of two, four, and five. I don't remember my math well enough to uh, give you a number of how many different combinations math. there are. So, you started with 2, and it could either be a 254 or 245. Now we're going to start with 4. It could either be 452. Oh, thank you. Thank Whoa. You locked it, Oh, jeez, that sounds scared the crap out of me. Yeah, dumbass. Who you calling dumbass? I don't see you trying anything. Come on, Max. Break that digicode. Okay, keypad again, use... Some numbers look faded, so mm -hmm. I just have to get lucky. Yeah, I know. So we're going to try 425 this time. <sighs> oh. No, it didn't work. Okay, good. we back to three tries, so now we got 524. <sighs> Wrong code. Seriously, it's okay, going to be the very last so code. It's locked. Rewind. Use... Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. You can do it, Max. Huh. Well, um... I feel like I've tried every combination of 2, 4, and 5. I tried 2, 4, 5. I tried 2, 5, 4. I tried 4, 2, 5. I tried 4, 5, 2. I tried 5, 4, 2. And I tried 5, 2, 4. So... Now I really don't know what to do. These scribbles... I don't know if those are just for artistic sake, or if they're supposed to mean anything to me. But, come on. Uh, it has to be the combination of the three, right? Because if only two numbers were faded, then we could assume that one of the numbers was reused. 
but I feel like I've tried every combination there is. And am I really just supposed to keep trying this until I get lucky? Is that really what I'm supposed to do? I mean, two, four, five, I tried it. Oops. That code. You locked it, dumbass. <sighs> oh, it was Max who said you locked it, dumbass. I thought it was Chloe who said it. I mean... Some numbers look faded, so... Mm -hmm. I just have to get lucky. Here's two, five, four. Oh, no. It didn't work. Okay. And now we're going to start with four... And we'll do four, two, five. Wrong code. Okay. You locked it, dumbass. Now. Some numbers look faded, so. Four. I just have to get lucky. Five, two. Oh, think, think. Okay, it didn't work. Let's start with five, two, four. Can do it, Max. And we okay, locked it again. So it's locked. And the last Some numbers choice faded, so is five. I just have to get lucky. Four, two. Oh, okay, I, oh, yes. I guess I didn't try that one. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Okay, so... Like what I was talking about a moment ago, there's no way in hell I would go in here. What the... the what the hell is okay. this? The door has shut already behind us, but yeah. There's no way I would be like, Okay, friend, let's go in here together so that this door can shut behind us and we could both be trapped in here. But they both went in. Look at all this place. More survivalist supplies. Survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Here's a letter that somebody has left out. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. Jesus, I already hate this place. Oh, duct tape. That's not suspicious. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. <laughs> uh oh, there's water over here, too, that I didn't comment on. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Yeah, it's not weird to have uh, water sitting around. What is this? Oh, a photo printer. Oh, neat. Whoa. That's kind of messed up, yo. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Yeah, that's uh, pretty messed up. Here's uh, some papers. Oh, that son of a bitch. Uh, subcontractor request for payment. Howard Work Construction Stormbreaker Bunker. Wow, this thing cost one point three million dollars. <laughs> wow. Okay. These are disturbing photos. Talk about tortured. Here is a computer, and there's a Can note attached to it. In this room? But let's look around a little bit more before we come to that. Oh, there's those tapes! Aha! Rachel and Kate. 
Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Oh. I thought they were tapes. Boy, those are way okay. bigger than I thought. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Oh my. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Oh my. Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Whoa, there's still more stuff to look at. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay, I was going to say, don't you dare make me leave this oh room again. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. Holy cow. Yeah, this is pretty messed up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look, before we look around this room anymore, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. We come back next time. Uh, we're going to keep looking around, even though, uh, Chloe is in a hurry to get out of here. Um, and I don't blame her. Because that's some pretty messed up stuff. I guess Chloe just went ahead and took off and left us shut in here, so... Screw you, Chloe. But we'll take a look around some more in the next episode. This is super, super mega creepy. That is a lot of names and a lot of binders. It's funny though, this whole time I didn't I didn't realize they were that s size. I thought they were like 8mm cassettes. I didn't realize they were that big. But uh, they're binders. We'll look at those next time. Thank you guys for joining me on this play session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time.